We conduct research for folk at the University of Buffalo and at other research universities across our country in the field of earthquake engineering. The test today uh, is on unreinforced masonry construction of a type found in New York City and more generally in eastern North America. One of the reasons we looked at, at this particular type of building was because in New York City, about, probably about 80% of the existing building stock is made of unreinforced masonry buildings, so that's a significant portion. The one on, on the right, we use the same construction but the difference is that this one, we apply some retrofit techniques. These are techniques that have already been applied in buildings. But what we're trying to do here is test them and understand how much better does a building perform when it has been retrofitted. I've been involved in this project for about four years now, and my role it's um, been mainly um, working in trying to characterize uh, the masonry buildings in New York City through computers. But at the same time, we want to validate our computer models with experimental tests, like the one we are doing today. Uh, in the next test, we're going to increase the amplitude of the shaking, so you might guess what's going to happen. So we've learned a lot here from, in terms of the behaviour of unretrofitted masonry walls and also from the behaviour of a specimen that's retrofitted in a traditional manner. The data that we, that we obtain uh, from these tests is going to be used to develop improved numerical models of these buildings to determine how vulnerable these buildings can be in, in earthquakes. I'm really excited about the outcome of the project because I'm pretty sure this is going to help to the engineering community in New York City and the public in general.